The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Ratchet and Clank. The first one. Look, there's a lot of stuff in this game. Kind of too much to put in one video. So what we're gonna do is dive into the story. So without further ado, let's begin the story. That intro wasn't that good, but it doesn't matter. Let's get into it. The adventure begins. Kaisel Plateau in Velden. Here we see our main character Ratchet doing Ratchet-like things. He's a mechanic. Meanwhile, in a factory on a nearby planet, sentry bots are being produced in bulk, like Costco. Then the computer switches it up, and a tiny, more sentient robot is created. He spots an info bot from afar. It shows him some evil plans that will soon commence. The big bots catch on, so he zips away like luggage into an escape vehicle. Up in space, he's immediately shot down. Plummeting into planet Velden, home of Ratchet, hey, he's right there. The little guy makes a crash landing, and I'm very intrigued by this. I'm Ratchet now, so I run over and pick him up. He looks so cute. He activates and is immediately asking for help to save the solar system. Saving the solar system? I'm like, what do you mean by that? And then he shows us this info bot. It's a message from the ultimate supreme executive chairman, Drek. He's like, my race, the Blarg, are in danger. Our planet has become so polluted that it is uninhabitable. Everyone will die. Horrible deaths. So, we'll be creating a brand new planet, using pieces of all the other planets, which will destroy them in the process. Scary stuff. Of course, sacrifices must be made. With our only hope being this discount Buzz Lightyear, Captain Quark, the little man asked for my help to find him. I'm not really interested, but with my ship needing an essential part, and Clank actually being that part, we agree to help each other out. Deal. So we use the coordinates from the Infobot to take us to planet Novalis, and Drek already sees us take off. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Who is this guy in the dark? The plot is thickening, like a sauce. We're moving at high speeds now, baby! We make a crash landing on planet Novalis, and with our ship already busted on impact, we'll have to fight through some enemies and hopefully find someone willing to give their ship to us. Then out of nowhere, the planet's chairman lands directly in front of us. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. He had just come back from being bullied by Drek, so he's scared and desperate. He thinks we're assassins, so out of fear, he gives us an info bot. It shows the heroic Captain Quark. Hi, I'm Captain Quark. The spokesman for Big Al's robo shack in Metropolis. <laughs> we must get there and tell him all about Drek's evil plan. Unfortunately, we have no ship, but fortunately, the chairman lends us one of his. Cool. You can count on us, sir. To Metropolis on planet Kerwan. There's robot dogs here, and other red guys that remind me of the Norks from Spyro. I believe they're made by the same people. Besides that, this place is very technologically advanced. And speaking of technologically advanced, we run into Al's robot shack from the commercial. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? Yes, sir! I like him. Unfortunately, he doesn't know where Quark is, but he does fit Clank with a helipack upgrade. Am I cool now? You the man, Clank. You're welcome. This allows us to reach higher areas and also speed run a bit with a forward leap, which is extra helpful as we rip our way through enemies on this bullet train. <laughs> We're at the end, we run into another infobot. There's a lot of infobots in this game. Drek is destroying yet another planet. He's stealing the trees from Eudora. And with his robot lieutenant leading the way, we may need to have a word with him. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. Now you're talking. Eudora, the explorer. This just in. Drek says the work here is complete, but now... Destroy everything. So we're just in time. No wonder he wanted the trees here. They're beautiful. Just look at these landscapes. This is a good landscape. Also, the opponents were getting scary, so I bought the blaster for more long-range combat. Oh, that's a nice one. This assault rifle had me shredding my opponents like incriminating documents. <laughs> incriminating documents is very hard to say. We eventually come in contact with the robot lieutenant, this big guy here. Clank scares him. Then an info bot falls out of his butt. It's an ad from Chairman Drek, talking about BTS. You need to know about BTS. How he'll be deploying Jimin and Jun Cook to destroy the universe. JK, it's just employment propaganda. Build our weapons while you build your future. There's a lot of cool gadgets being produced at the space station, so why don't we go there and get some? Let's go get some! We can relay any info to Captain Quark when we find him. Large Station Nebula. We've arrived in the space station. Now we just have to find the scientists slash inventors. This sounds simple in theory, but there will be obstacles, like frogs in the corridor and big creepy crawly guys with high HP. So to increase my chances, I bought the Glove of Doom. Oh, that's a nice one. An S-tier piece of weaponry that sends out little bots to do the work for you. It really came in handy when I ran into the big boss. <laughs> this bug-like monstrosity is out to get me like the school bus at 3 p.m. It was a tough battle, but the Glove of Doom was just too good. And also, we saved the inventor of the grind boots. Grind boots! We can now grind, which is very fun. And cool. And crazy. Uh-oh. Breaking news. Captain Quark will be presenting the grand prize at the Hoverboard Championship in Blackwater City. That was a mouthful. Let's go get him. Channel 2 News. 
to Blackwater City on planet Rilgar. The city is under attack. It's overrun with muck that break apart like those Russian nesting dolls. Hey! But that's just small talk. You see, the path to Quark will be even tougher. We have to use the underground sewer system to reach them. And this place is filling up faster than a small cup if you were to put a hose in it. I had to use the perfect speed run technique just to get out of there. And even though I failed a lot, it was really fun. Top 10 sewer escapes. Watch Mojo.com. Once outside, we immediately spot Quark's trailer. Captain Quark. What's that? And he already knows about everything. Thank the galaxy you found me. He knows. We're heroes, he says, and wants us to prove ourselves by making it through his treacherous obstacle course located at his headquarters. Then we'll finally be united as one. Meet me at my headquarters. We won't fail you, sir. We promise. To Quark HQ, in whatever planet it's on. Welcome to my challenge course. This is your typical run-of-the-mill obstacle course. Barbed wire, mounted turrets, your parents locking you in the closet for way too long and turning the lights out, and there's sharks, so we must stay alert. <laughs> and after overcoming such hardship, you'd only hope to celebrate, but not so fast. It's a trap. <laughs> Quark is working for the enemy. It was him that was the dark figure in the intro cutscene. I'm the official spokesman for Drek's new planet. But... Why? But... Why? And with malicious intent, he releases his Blargian Snagglebeast to end us for good. <laughs> this big fella has fire attacks and a massive health bar. This reminded me of one of the boss fights from Spyro 2 or 3, but I remember knocking like a frog into lava, that's all I can think of. Because I knocked him in lava as well, and he drowned in it. Ooh, I'm drowning in lava, uh -uh. The plot is getting even thicker as another info bot appears. It's a commander requesting assistance on planet Battalion. Drex ships are destroying the city. We must help that commando. And even worse, Ratchet only cares about finding Quark now, so a conflict arrives between the two heroes. This is not like you. What do you know about me? But we keep on pushing. Just shut up and start the ship. To Planet Battalia, the war zone. Uh, Meanwhile, on Drek's ship, he's letting Quark have it for failing the mission. I thought. You thought. You thought. I want results. Uh, upon landing on Battalia, the commander, or whatever he is, is giving us orders. Add attention, you deserting maggots. Get to the turret and take down those ships. Hopefully we can get there in one piece. Like being transported in a giant cake that only has one piece. We reach the turret, but the mechanic's like, I don't trust you to use it. And I'm like, F you. You've shown bravery by making it this far, soldier. With our heroic air defense victory, the captain awards us with an info bot. Good luck. It's another Drek announcement. His new planet is almost complete, and his scientists are now searching for the ideal orbit. The ideal orbit! Oh! And with his old planet's facilities now completely abandoned, we'll have to search there for more clues on his location. So let's go there. Now do you understand why we must stop him? Fine. Let's get going then. To Kogar Refinery in Orkson, Drek's abandoned planet. You see, the air quality on Orkson is not up to standards, so Clank will have to go in alone. His most important finding being an info bot with an ad for the Jawai Resort in Poketaru. And they have O2 masks that will allow Ratchet to explore the Orkson pollution. Perhaps the extra oxygen will help your brain to function properly. Yeah, and maybe the salt water will rust your mouth shut. We arrive at the resort that is closing due to everyone dying. You two are the first friendly faces I've seen in weeks. And in order to get the O2 mask, we have to help the owner by shooting down Drek's ships. Similar to the turret, except this time I'm in a fighter jet. The handling is great in this thing. You can speed up to evade incoming fire, then gather yourself to destroy the enemy. We destroyed the enemy. Here you go. Oh, that's a nice one. And right next door, we also got fitted with a thruster pack for Clank. Thruster pack? Ooh, I am the man. Back in Orkson, we now can use Ratchet to explore the more important areas. Areas that are patrolled by enemies so strong that I had to buy the Devastator. Oh, that's a nice one. A long-range homing launcher that is very effective. One thing leads to another, and we're chasing an info bot up and down a magnetic path. Look, I'm walking sideways. I could fall, but I'm wearing boots that I got from the planet that I didn't mention. And once we catch the bot, we get some scary news. Hello again, everyone. It's Drek from the Bomb Factory on Planet Hoven. He said he's found the perfect orbit for his new planet, but it's occupied. So we developed the Planet Buster to remove it. Kaboom! <laughs> now this guy's gonna blow up an entire planet? You do care. Don't push it, pal. Let's stop this. Ooh, to Planet Hoven, the bomb factory. I like it here. Look at the trees. Snow is cool. But you know what's not cool? A large ship leaving with a nuclear-grade missile. We climb to the top of the buildings, but we're too late. The ship is leaving. The ship is leaving. Luckily, there's an old defense turret placed directly in front of it. It allowed me to tear up these red guys like gift wrap on Christmas morning. And also the turrets on the big ship. 
Sound excellent. Then an info bot appears from underneath. It's only getting worse. Directly from his moon base, Drek is initiating a heavily armed attack on Gorda City. He's going to steal the power generators, then just destroy everything. Destroy anything that moves! <laughs> we must get to that moon base to stop the attack. To the moon base, in the Ultanis orbit. Meanwhile, on Drek's ship, Quark is being sent to destroy us once and for all. Uh, those two! He's only doing this for an endorsement deal, because he's washed up. If we're gonna catch those two, we need a faster ship. Perhaps this space station will supply the ship we need. We arrive at the base, and the dangers in this place are much more dangerous. There's men in shielded turrets cutting off all the access points. And like the show Lost, I was lost. I had to buy the decoy glove to trick the opposition. Oh, that's a nice one. And it worked flawlessly. As I made my way into the main part of the base, where hordes of enemies swarm me like bees after you try to fit the whole hive in your mouth. Now onto what really matters. Quark. <laughs> the boss fight flight in space. I felt like a real space ranger as I maneuvered around asteroids and space mines. I was able to take down Quark quite easily with my above average pilot skills. <laughs> But that was only a small fish to fry. We still need to get to Long John Silver. And out of our new ship that we're stealing comes more bad news. Gorda City is in ruins. All hope certainly seems lost. Drex making big moves, but like a cat walking by a fireplace or hot on his tail. Let's go get him. Now you are talking. To the Gorda City ruins in Old Tannis, my knees cracking like a log on the fireplace after you let it sit a little bit. And upon landing, lightning strikes and Clank is disabled. You got toasted by lightning. So we'll have to go in raw. It's all out hell here, so searching the city won't be a walk in the park. Fighting with advanced tactics and grinding like Tony Hawk from the game Tony Hawk, I had to do special tricks just to stay alive. Long enough to reach this scientist here, who is deafened by the explosions. I'm looking for Drek. Sure, yeah, I got lots of stuff on sale. He has no idea what's going on, but he's selling an info bot for half price. It's an ad for the Ultramech defense bot, being mass produced at the robot plant in our next destination. <laughs> Planet Quark 2 at the robot factory. But meanwhile, Drek receives the news of Quark's failure. That aside, his planet is finished. He just needs to remove the planet, taking up all the orbit space, like bandwidth. So we get to the robot plant and immediately run into a scientist, the one responsible for making the Ultra Max giant with his enlargement machine. I wish I had that. Clank volunteers the help and becomes Giant Clank. We're now strong enough to take on the Ultra Max in a hectic ring battle. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you two. The scientist then thanks us with another infobot. There's unlimited of these things. It's an ad for the Holo guys, the perfect new gadget to disguise you as a sentry bot. What is perfect, considering we have to infiltrate the robot plant that is on this very planet. But sadly, the gadget is only on the Gadgetron site on Kalibo 3. So like mixing spinach, artichokes, and cheese, we gotta dip to that place I just said. Kalibo 3, the Gadgetron site. Long story short, we meet up with this lizard guy who has a nice challenge for us. You ever been on a hoverboard? Beat his robots in a hoverboard race, and we'll be rewarded with TV stardom, or a very specific gadget that we came here for. That would make much more sense. That was terrific! With the ability to become a robot now, we gun it back to the robot plant. This is how we trick the sentry bots to let us in. Cute little wave. Hey. I found it very fun to sneak attack the robots as they're tricking them. It's like a metaphor for life. Take that as you will, I just didn't even know what I meant by that. We do a lot of cool things that I'll skip over until we reach the room that Clank was created. Mom? His mother, slash the computer, purposely created him to save the universe. I tried, Mom. She then gives us some helpful information. Drex's artificial planet is ready. All that's left to do is use this giant laser to destroy Veldon. Ratchet's home. Drek is going to find out what happens when you mess with my home. Now that we know his location, we must get the Drex ship and destroy that laser. I will try to make you proud, Mom. To Drek's feet, to Drek's fleet, in the Veldon orbit. In order to get the coordinates to Drek's laser, we'll have to find our way into the cockpit by sneaking through this heavily guarded ship. This took me a long time because you have to be patient with your strategy. And like Vladimir Putin, I was Russian. So I slowed it down a bit, stole a fighter jet, disabled some defense turrets, then moseyed my way into the cock. Pit. But Drek is not here. Only a preview of tonight's television broadcast. Tonight on Blonde TV! A live showing of Drek's laser destroying Veldon. The final step. Scary stuff, but we got the coordinates. Let's finish this. Let's get him! To Kaiser Plateau, Ratchet's planet, to save the day. And like the settings medium and hard, this won't be easy. All the enemies are airborne, so my original tactics are out of play. The elite guards are relentless with their guided missile attacks, and these flying tanks aren't very nice either. So, after exhausting all of my strategies and failing unlimited times, I just ignored them and zipped on through. Then to our luck, we find the Largenator. 
clank gets big, and in comes the ultimate Supreme Executive Chairman Drek. You're about to die right where you started. Let's get him! So I immediately hit him with a ray beam. Very effective. I was excited to keep fighting like this until he deactivated my largeness. Hmm. Eat my laser! Eat it! Like three pieces of pie left on the table. There's gonna be ants. First stage of the fight was simple enough. I used the Tesla Claw to hurt him a bunch. Then he backs up looking like those Jimmy Neutron enemies. <laughs> then until we pushed him back onto the laser slash the planetizer itself. This is where he reveals that he polluted his own planet and is only doing this for money. And will do it again. How sickening. He then activates the detonator. So I have to keep disabling it while also avoiding everything he's throwing at me. And it's a lot. A lot of stuff's flying around. My strategy here was to use the Glove of Doom to take out the smaller enemies. Then just get up close to him and hope for the best. Drek gets launched onto his new planet. We then use his own laser to destroy it and save the galaxy. It's not all sunshine and rainbows yet. There's heavy debris falling at a crazy pace. The test of friendship actually comes in play. Clank breaks his arm. They both fall. Clank then swoops in and saves Ratchet from impending fall damage. And then this part made me cry. My arm appears to be badly damaged. Ah. You'll be all right. Hey, Tin Can! <laughs> Where do you think you're going? We, uh, still need to fix that arm. It's beautiful. Until next time with this dynamic duo. <laughs> And where's Captain Cork, you may ask? He's selling Gadatron gadgets at the top of the ruined city. I don't know how he even got there. I don't know why he'd want to be there. The name's Steve. Pleased to meet you. And that was the wonderful, exciting story of Ratchet & Clank 1. Now, if you're a huge fan of this game and understand it completely, you know that I left out a lot of stuff. I had to do that to make the story make sense because I don't want to explain. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like, leave a comment. And if you hated the video, break your TV screen and eat it. If you dislike the video, I will hack your mainframe. And like always, thank you guys so much for the love and support I get every video. It means so much. And that's about it for me. I have a pickaxe. Let's go mining, boys. Time to mine some diamond.